Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about disorientation. I just finished this book and I have so many thoughts, but most of them contain spoilers. So let's try to keep this spoiler free. What is this orientation about? This is a story about a young PhD student who is struggling to finish and on her last leg of her dissertation, but she doesn't really enjoy it anymore. She's conflicted about everything. She's writing about this canonical Chinese American poet and it's getting on her nerves. She doesn't really feel like it and she's lost about what to write. And while she's searching for an angle for her dissertation, she stumbles across a mystery. And this book is all about the effects or the aftermath of discovering that secret or mystery about the author. And it's very fascinating. I really enjoyed the writing of the book and the story. It was very unforeseeable. There were so many twists and turns that I didn't see coming. I really enjoyed where the things went and the topics that were introduced. The book is full of themes and a buckload of themes of cultural appropriation, the Asian American experience. Our main character is Asian American and there is where I have conflicting thoughts or I don't know how to deal with that. The book, like I said, is very well written, but it's very structured and you can feel it. I do think that depending on where you're coming from personally and what person you bring into the book with you is going to affect how you read the book or how the book affects you. And I am pretty aware that I will read this book differently than an Asian American PhD student, for example, and just an Asian American. I will not have the same experience reading this book. Now you know me, I don't do research. I saw the cover and I thought, interesting book, I want to have it. And I didn't know anything going into it, so I didn't have any expectations. I have not heard anyone talking about the book. So when the book started, we meet our PhD student, we get introduced into a background of what it is to grow up Asian American in America. Some snippets and setting the tone. And I thought, okay, well introduced, let's do that. Then we went on and met her boyfriends or ex-boyfriends. And so that set the tone for her personality, her character in relationships. And that was also interesting and well done, but it also felt very crafted. It didn't feel as natural as I thought it could have been. And that continued. All the characters in the book feel like stereotype fill-ins and there are a lot of stereotypes they're not bad stereotypes the characters are not bad they are not flat as per se but they're stereotype fill-ins for something the author or the novel wants to tell us it's showing us how our main character is pretty naive and unaware of the effects it had on her being Asian in America and growing up in America as a non-white American and how that affected her and how all of that she didn't realize and she in, in, internalized and how she internalized the American view of herself as an Asian American and how that affected relationships, her thoughts on other Asians and whatever. All of that is present and this feels like a coming of consciousness or coming of age novel for the main character while at the same time being like a guidebook for other Asian Americans as to see what's wrong or what is going on. I don't know how to say more eloquently right now. This feels like a guiding book, like a Bildungsroman in a way that it wants to teach you things and it uses the characters to showcase different problems, different situations, different scenarios and different ways around that. It also shows different stereotypical Asian Americans and it also shows different stereotypical good and bad things. It doesn't only portray a one-sided picture. That's what I like about the book, that it really gives you a broad idea of what's going on and who the characters are. So even though they're stereotypical, there is a broad band of characters, different characters, and also different characters in how they deal with their own identity and coming to terms with their identity. And this feels part of the center of the book that our main character really finds her way to herself. 
after feeling lost in her dissertation. She also finishes the dissertation at the end. There's also the theme of cultural appropriation. And I really think it's interestingly done or well done to explore this concept of what happened in the book. And she also portrays or shows a different way of cultural appropriation that is similar but different and how that affects the author or the narration or whatever is going on. I don't want to go into too much detail because it will take away fun of the story. But what I really liked in the book is despite all the stereotypical fill-in characters, we are also shown how else it could go or we see different positions or characters in different stereotypes. There are different portraits of relationships all over and questioning the status quo and the idea of how we get into relationships and what we like. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot is touched upon, but I don't think it needs to go deeper in the book. The book feels, like I said, very educational while fun at the same time. It does feel important and to the point. And like I said, it's very well written and well done. But I don't know how it would feel for others. Overall, I think this is a very interesting debut novel and I'm definitely going to read what the author is going to write next. Okay, enough ramblings. I can't stand anymore. Let me hear in comments if you have heard about the book, read the book. It just recently came out, so it's pretty new. And yeah, let's talk disorientation. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.